Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today for our webinar around best practices for requirement traceability. Uh, my name is Marie, and I will be the host for, um, for, for today's webinar. Uh, before we dive into the content, let me cover a few housekeeping items. Uh, so first, um, at the bottom of the screen are multiple application engagement tools that you can use. Please note that all those engagement tools are resizable and movable, so feel free to move them around to get the most out of your desktop space. You can also expand your presentation area or maximize it to full screen by clicking on the arrows in the top right corner. If you happen to have any audio or video issue, you can find answers to some common technical issues located in the help widget at the bottom of the screen. Please note that we already added a copy of today's slide deck and also additional resources in the resource list. So please have a look and download everything that you may find useful. On top of this, this webinar will be recorded and sent via the email that you registered with. And lastly, if you have any questions during the presentation, you can submit them through the Q&A widget. We are here to answer you live throughout the presentation, so don't hesitate to reach out. In case we ran out of time or we didn't manage to answer you live, we'll make sure to follow up later by email. So after this uh, short introduction, I'm going to quickly introduce you uh, our speaker. Uh, so today, the presentation is going to be presented by Martin Janssen, who is senior consultant at JAMA. Martin has been working with PLM and requirements management solutions for over 15 years. He's very proficient in the Siemens industry software solutions and also PTC windshield. And he's currently working at JAMA as senior consultant, as I mentioned, implementing JAMA uh, with, with our customers. He's passionate about engineering and ICT. And after this short intro, I'm gonna let Martin dive into the content and start his presentation. Hello, all. good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to our webinar on requirements, life traceability. Today, I will be taking you through some of our best practices when it comes to life traceability in the JAMA Connect platform and how that provides value to you and your organization. The agenda for today, we will go through the problem setting. Why would we have requirement traceability? Some of the mini scenarios, uh, I will show you a little bit around the capture and connect options within the JAMA Connect platform. Some of the live and actionable uh, traces you can find and, uh, and use within the platform. And then finally, I will talk a little bit about understanding your trace core. And that is something that we do to help our customers find insight and find measurable data on the current state of uh, traceability within the system. And I'll get back to that in a second. And after the presentation, we of course will open it up for Q&A. So first of all, the problem. When we work with our customers, what we find very in, in, in a very large amount of engagements we do that information within the, uh, the environment of our customers is disconnected and siloed. So what you will see is that information exists on department level, there will be copies uh, all, over the, uh, all over the environment, but also uh, in other systems within uh, uh, the customer's ecosystem. Now, when you have information siloed to like that, it means it becomes very difficult to find information, find the correct information, and then assess if the information you have is actually applicable to uh, your question you're looking to solve. Whenever you talk about siloed information and the lack of traceability between those specific uh, data elements in that ecosystem, you can see that whenever you, uh, the earlier you are within your development process, the less cost it will take to actually uh, solve that problem. 
And what we find with a lot of those customers is that whenever they have siloed information, some of that information is already very detailed and very far in the design process or in the process of the, of the customer, they, uh, the process they are supporting. And what you can see is that the, uh, the cost of, of errors or mistakes or lack of traceability will increase as you go down the V model and it will increase quite extensively. Now, whenever you look at the tooling that is used um, uh, for that siloed information, what one of the most uh, found uh, uh, informational parts is, of course, Office documents. So Word documentation, Excel documentations that are floating around the organization more or less uh, being copied or being uh, reused uh, uh, across different uh, departments and different people within that departments. Not only that, it will be copied into other systems um, and that will result in the lack of traceability. So changes can no longer be tracked and traced, but also um, a connected information or disconnected information um, uh, will, uh, will not be visible. So very basic uh, uh, questions like an impact analysis or where uh, uh, changes to your document will impact uh, are becoming more, more and more difficult. Okay. So whenever you start at the top left of, of, that, uh, of that diagram, it already becomes um, expensive and time consuming to start working uh, towards those uh, those changes, but when we go down the tree towards the implementation phase, uh, the risk will uh, exponentially grow. Uh, the the cost will exponentially grow according to uh, um, to the previous slide. So, what you want to achieve with traceability is you want to have earlier identification of those defects. You want earlier identification of gaps towards, for example, compliance or, or testing coverage. Okay. Also the coordination of all those specific documents within those different systems becomes uh, a large task and a large uh, uh, time consuming exercise. Also the um, uh, overlying processes on the development uh, creation or on the development of those requirements uh, will allow for more difficult risk assessment uh, and change management processes to take place. And those in itself will be cumbersome and it will also be very time consuming. So those are some of the specific, uh, 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 specific negative outcomes we see when the lack of traceability exists within an ecosystem. Um, just to be clear on the, uh, the solution to these problems, the solution to these uh, connections, it's not within one single uh, platform most of the times that this will be solved. It's, uh, it will be across uh, those different uh, systems that you will need to trace, track and trace those requirements. So for example, Simulink is named here by Jira and Azure DevOps are, are more on the common uh, on the common side, but on the right side of the V, for example, a test drill is mentioned there as well. Those are typical systems that hold a large part of the information that we are looking for. Um, uh, whenever you We'll talk about uh, the actual integration of documentation and, and requirements into this system. Uh, that's where the Excel management part becomes a little bit more difficult and you have no way to integrate those into your, um, uh, into your, um, into your system or into your platform. Okay? So that's the, the setting of, um, of today's uh, webinar on how we can connect that information together and how that can be valuable to uh, in your own companies. So connections between those systems, between those departments and between those different 
uh, uh, documentation part is uh, the goal uh, for the for the entire uh, ecosystem, right? So we, as JAMA, hold a large part of this information in the platform. So the requirements and the testing information, but also the risk analysis information. But that ties in very closely, for example, to <coughs> sorry, to systems like Geo.